Hey, Vox here. So, a lot of things to go through today, aka thoughts on what's coming forward, like Easter. Where's our Aaron Battle to reveal EA? I don't know. Maybe we'll do it later today. I, 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 I would imagine they're gonna do a retirement card. Fletcher Cox. I was like, eh, 50-50, but Aaron Donald, one of the greatest DTs of all time. That's probably gonna get revealed soon, right? Uh, it could be a very expensive card. We'll just say that. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about the Steelers' moves lately, since you know I'm a Steelers homer and I gotta shove that in everybody's faces. Um, uh, uh, and, and yeah, a few other nonsense things on my list to get through, but let's get through the cards on their way next. Uh, tomorrow's AKAs launching as they always do at 1.30 Eastern. It's tough to judge them without abilities. Um, Tillman's, yeah, bottlenecks, okay, it's not great. I will say, is that Yakim up? I actually don't know. On I would assume it's Yakim up. It's the best wide receiver ability in the game, in my opinion. Break and tackle. It's basically like freight train after the catch, right? Which, or angry runs. Which, as we know, is just broken and should be way more AP. But, uh, yeah, Andre Reid, not a bad card right there. Um, and then we have the Fridge Perry, last year's card art, of course. Right here, 98 overall. And we'll talk about overalls. If you think they're going to go up with Easter, right? Stonks always go up. Overalls frequently do also. Um, uh, yeah, pretty good attributes there for a, uh, a thick boy, right? You know how we like my DT. Ta take a look. Took a lot of time. That tier ranking video I put together. Take a look at that. We talked much about uh, the thickness on them. So, with that said, with that said, what do I want to talk about first? Steelers moves? Yeah, let's do that. So, we got Wilson and Fields. Uh, we got rid of Pickett. What's, what's, what's up with that, dude? I... I was disappointed, I guess, the Steelers got rid of Pickett because of the way he acted, which, you know, obviously I'm not behind the scenes. Um, I didn't mind them, right? He didn't turn the ball over a lot for a defense-based team, and that's kind of like the kind of quarterback that you can win with, right? We saw, you know, I'm not comparing him to, like, 2000s uh, uh, Baltimore, but we saw uh, some pretty bad quarterbacks get carried to championships in those few years in the early 2000s with Tampa Bay and Baltimore um, because they uh, played good defense. But... With that said, more exciting brand of football next year. Uh, let's smelt Steelers country. Wilson's going to be the number one. Fields the backup. Hopefully to learn from him. And, uh, you know, they always make fun of Kenny Pickett's small hands, but uh, Fields is fumbling the ball way more. Maybe we need to put two gloves on that guy, okay? Because, uh, you know, fumbles are unacceptable. And I know he's just trying to make plays, but we really need to invest in an offensive line because they both hold the ball an hour and a half. And, you know, I, uh, I I fear the Steelers front office has gotten much like our mutt teams. Just put, like, the fastest, coolest dudes back there. Have them make plays for us versus, um, uh, uh, I don't know, something that better fits our scheme to get the ball out. But I don't know. They know the scheme with Arthur coming. I just hope they continue with the power run game and not switch back to a zone run game, which they uh, struggled with in the early part of last year until they switched to power. Um, but the uh, draft's going to tell us a lot. I don't know. I'm excited, but... New brand steals football. Can't wait. Let's get back to Mutt. Let's get back to Mutt. Mutt, 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 All right. Easter promo. A lot of people wonder about that, right? With the store and everything and Easter rolls and everything. I'll open my 70-plus packs. So, as we guys, normally, year over year, Easter has been pretty good. Winter promo was good great last like two three years uh, as far as getting the presents and uh, having fun with them this last winter promo was the worst one we've seen in quite some time right zero chill was an absolute disaster uh as far as getting presents right like we got we got the zero chest uh, we got field pass whatever uh we'll talk about this a little bit tomorrow mark and monday too uh, but like we were at, we had like the present stores for snowflakes and everything But there was no way of quick selling cards for snowflakes And so you had to play like their head-to-head -head mode to get them and there was a limit on them It was definitely worse than it's ever been before as far as that so my expectations for Easter aren't high but but um, Maybe it's great, right? We'll look at last year's Easter and everything and, and obviously I'll talk more a little bit more about this tomorrow But you know, we can prep this weekend as far as investing and saving everything so Sets, um, they still will probably maybe come back with sets this year. Um, if you don't want to invest in training Um, you can maybe look to exchanges and stuff trainings Trainings, okay, I guess there was a sugar rush field pass last year um, uh, I didn't want to really go too much into this, but the uh, house rules, you got some eggs. House rules last year were really bad. We did have pass rush bundles, players, packs, that kind of stuff for last year's Sugar Rush. So, 
I don't know. Uh, I don't know. My head's in the gutter right now for EA. And shout out to EA also with this AKA content for really helping out our and will be the show grind uh, because they gave us kind of like whatever content this this weekend. But like Easter should be kind of hardcore. So get your other games out right now. Thursday's back. Uh, it's usually two week promo. I would expect Easter. We'll talk about more about Mark Monday. Um, especially like overalls going up and what our thoughts are on that and and how I like I, I right now I'm thinking it won't go up. Uh, but we'll we'll talk about that and diversifying investments tomorrow. So, I really hope, um, as far as talking about these AKAs and abilities, um, uh, uh, I know they're giving us, like, they gave us a couple defensive players the first time in a while. I need some Tackle Supremes, man. I know he's going to get strip special for zero with his peanut punch, but give me Tackle Supremes, especially on corners. Because, like, dude, the stretch alert looky with that Bo Jackson so insane. Being able to just do that and, like, I, I'll blitz a guy, and he's, like, got him in the backfield, and it's, like, one flick of the stick 20 yards away from my cornerback, and his ankles get broken. So, tackle Supremes, please. The issue with tackle Supremes becomes, it becomes, like, two-hand touch out there. Uh, but I think uh, the Freight Train uh, Angry Runs is a much worse meta than a two-hand touch meta, which, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, because it basically zero AP tackle Supremes. Makes the game a lot less um, funky. So we'll see if they actually end up doing that. And I know they like the funky game, the exciting, the arcade stuff. And I, I kind of like that too. So the issue is it's just gotten so bad and so boring uh, with that. All right. Next up. Easter's, Aaron Donald, Sunday, that kind of stuff. How are you guys' teams looking? I got a couple changes I want to make. I want to probably put Ed Reed at the free safety 1 AP deep in the mid um, I know a lot of people were very down on this weekend's Ultimate Legends, uh, but I, I still think they could provide like a pretty decent amount. Obviously, John Abraham was uh, uh, just fine. You know, outside of the free is good, but Ed Reed, I think you know he's a little slower and sadly doesn't get Steelers team cam. Wish we brought him in for a, a cup of coffee with us to get that. Uh, but like, as far as selling your team off for Easter, which is something we might talk about a little bit tomorrow, also. I'm not sure I'd do it. I, I think it's really late in the year, and obviously the, the market could go down. I don't really expect it to like crash, crash, except for maybe some high-end cards that get replaced by new, uh, quote-unquote, better cards. Uh, but actually, do I want? Maybe I'll keep Cam Curl there and re-promote Hamilton off user. So I don't know. There's a lot of things on the way, and I, I think like it, it, it's funny because like it feels like every free, few promos we get some insane jump forwards and abilities. Um, you know, the team of the years were like kind of eh, but that combine was insane with the Bo Jacksons, this Justin Simmons, um, except Rashad Jones right here. We got some insane jump forward there. We had a very iffy team of the year, uh, not so great, um, uh, 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 free agent promo. A lot of people were very angry about that, not really using a whole lot of them. Um, so I think potentially we might be due for one with Easter as far as like, all right, we're going to we're gonna blow your backs out with the cards that we're going to ride. I really hope, uh, dude, how has Minka not got upgraded? I feel like I feel like it's got to be Minka's time, right? Am I setting myself up for failure with this, with my Steelers expectation? But I truly feel like the time is now. Bring it. We need our Minka EA. Um, that's the that's the only card I really want during this uh, this next promo. Obviously, the more Steelers, the better, but please upgrade via Minka. No Ultimate Legend Steelers either has been kind of disappointing, but Mean Joe should probably get his at least at some point. Um, so I'm not that worried about that. So anyways, that's it for my ramble video. I apologize. Just kind of hit a bunch of different topics. We will focus tomorrow uh, once we find out the schedule on the market. I'll see you then, my dudes. And where's Aaron Donald's tribute card, EA?